Hey guys, Arkas here, and today we have a few things to talk about, right? And I'm recording this night before, I'm not gonna upload this till tomorrow because it's almost 3 a.m. and I just now saw all of this. Um, yeah, there's a few things I wanna talk about, and those things are the slime units, right? The slime collab units. So yeah, before we open this, if you enjoy today's content, make sure you subscribe. And hit the notification bell if you wanna get notified when I upload. Now then, this is in the data download from today. This is what was put into the files today into today's update with Grand Cross, right? And you see, it's not everyone's. It's only a few people's uh, passes are put in here, right? Because, you know, obviously we have this Merlin here. This is going to be a separate video, right? This Merlin and the, uh, the uh, Hawk in... Elizabeth will be a, a separate video, but and of course you have the new Roxy that's here. Um, you get you know the final boss Glocks and drill cars are here and everything. You have some tickets, but then you have specifically two different slime units passes. You have Rimuru slime and then Rimuru human form, right? And they released roughly what eight. It's like eight to nine months ago so a lot of people who came in won't actually have these units right and they're ex they're exclusive to the collabs but if you remember dev notes from roughly uh i think last month actually they stated and i quote it was frankly pointed out how unfair it was not to be able to obtain certain heroes from the past and in turn be able to fully utilize ultimate moves and level them up. This part is due to the nature of collaborations releasing heroes in a fixed schedule under contract. Currently, we are discussing with each IP holder so that the knights who haven't acquired existing collaboration heroes may see these collaborations turn in the future. So, they did mention they are going to. Oh, wait, okay. We ask for your understanding of the difficulties providing an exact time of this implication due to many factors stemming from contractual obligations. We will be sure to inform you through another dev notes as soon as we have more details. Okay, they this was both on this release on global and also released at the same time on JP slash KR, right? So we we're talking about how they wanted to, you know, they want to talk to the pat people they did past collaborations with and see if they can, you know, maybe bring them back so that people could actually legitimately, you know, pull for the units again. And the only ones that were basically guaranteed at the time that ever come back was KOF because the KOF collab was with the KOF game and the KOF game also had a collab with seven days since so basically they had a collab with each other and everything on both uh both the uh, games so that is the one that's going to come back because it, it is under net marvel's contract it's literally have a game for KOF and they have a contract to hold the KOF IP right so that's the only one we knew at the time was guaranteed to come back then there's many others we were thinking well maybe like slime and stuff because also in the past uh this shouldn't take it off should it it doesn't okay we got the beta app <laughs> there were units from slide cloud should receive a buff that was april the end of april you know legitimately that you know they were receiving a buff right I don't know if it was still in there past this, but I know that in April, the end of April, it was in there, right? And of course, we saw that in June. That's when they talked about that in the dev notes. Well, and, and of course, and then the data from tonight, who signs uh, units passes were in the data. We don't know. I don't know if they actually, they actually changed anything or if they um, legitimately will be changing something. I have no clue. I don't have the slime units over on JP and uh, KR. I don't have the units on my account over there because I wasn't playing JP when slime the slime cloud was released, so I have no clue. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at what they originally were, and then I will have someone. Um, if you follow, go follow my Twitter down below. Check that out. I will probably be posting exactly there an update to where someone, if someone did actually. Um, have them be updated or everything in game we don't know <laughs> so yeah let's let's quickly go look at the slime units currently okay so here 
we have um slime murmur right his first attacking card removes buffs uh does some damage you know it's single target and everything and rank three and cancel buffs and stances it's your typical cancel buffs and stances card we've had since day one of the game and of course the second one is a pretty i would say good healing card he heals the hp of one ally by 300 percent of attack and then on level two he grants debuff immunity after that for two turns and in rank three it becomes aoe so in all honesty this is on my opinion a really good healing card his ultimate is just inflicts damage of 630 percent of attack on one enemy and then depletes three ultimate move gauge orbs uh we got this game for free by the way and his passive was allies heal for five percent of diminished hp at the start of every turn and here we have Rimuru, the ruler of monsters, the human form of Rimuru, right? His first skill is a single target rupture card that goes increased amount of damage, right? If you didn't know what rupture does, rupture is extra damage against buffs, as you can see here. It's two times damage against buffed enemies, right? His second card is a stance card, which grants debuff immunity for one turn and then heals 20% of the diminished HP at the start of the next turn. It assumes a stance which grants DUF immunity and then taunts the enemy for one turn. It goes up to heals 30% of diminished HP at the start of the next turn. His level 3 makes it to where it goes up to taunts enemies for two turns and then heals 50% of diminished HP at the start of the next turn. His ultimate is um, without actually, you know, including Meliodas with it. It cancels buffs and stances on one enemy. And it flex damage equal to 490% of attack and stuns for one turn. On when it's combined with Meliodas as the association unit, it cancels buffs and stances on one enemy, then it flex damage equal to 560% of attack, then stuns for one turn. Um, it goes all the way up to 735, you get a 6 and everything. His passive increases defense related stats by 8% at the start of next turn if the hero takes damage limit five times so if he takes damage at the start of next turn he gets one increase it takes five turns for this to get maxed out i'm pretty sure it's once once a turn i'm pretty sure it's once a turn i may be wrong i don't use this unit i haven't used this unit since they released um yeah I do have confirmation about someone who has the unit. I'm going to pull it over here. The translation. At the beginning of the allies turn, allies recover the reduced HP of 5%. Okay, either, that, either that's allies or that's, you know, talking about him. It's either or. And it is allies. So it is the same as it was um, before. It's the same in games it was before. But that still brings up the possibility that something could be changing because they do have these in game uh in the download these were put back in the download for some random reason don't know why that could be some indication of they are receiving a buff in the future we just have to pay attention and watch out i just want to make a video over this because a lot of people probably aren't going to go just zoom in and dive it into this so I, qu I quickly looked through it. I saw some Twitter about it. So I went, jumped in here and looked at it. And yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.